The last thing that I want to do is I want to add grass. And I'm going to add grass in these few areas that we added. And so here's another spline, and we're going to add a force pack object onto this grass that we've, we have extruded. To do that, obviously it's going to end up being a lot of force pack object, but it can be pretty efficient the way we do it. And so instead of extruding this out, I will actually create a duplicate object. So we can leave it extruded. We'll just set it to a very low amount. So we can set it to 0.25. And I'm going to duplicate my grass. And I'm going to call this forest pack five controller. And I will remove the UV map and the extrude. So now I have a good object for my forest pack. And forest pack also has some good presets. If you click on this and click library, instead of using a custom object, we can use some of their preset catalog stuff. And some of their stuff is pretty good. Some of it you have to be careful with what you use, but some of the preset stuff is pretty good. Let's see, they have lawns, they have tall grasses. Some of it is good, some of it you just have to be careful with how it renders. But we can apply this to here, and that's just saying that the original file is in centimeters, that's fine. Say OK. There we go, so there's our grass. Let's go ahead and move our spline controller to six inches and see how that looks from the camera. So now we have forest pack grass. Let's just do this little region. Now if I want it to be wildflowers or grass, I could choose any of those and they have lots of different presets for lawns, all sorts of different things. Now part of it you can see that I've got not a straight line and the reason for that is the way that it's set in the settings. We can control the way that works. So if we select our grass forest pack object, make sure you're selecting the forest pack object. We may have to zoom in to select it. 2D pan mode. Make sure we're right on our forest pack grass. There we go, forest 05. And there's a setting under area that controls the way the objects are cut near the edges. So if we switch this to edge, it will cut our grass right where we want it to. So now if I re-render this, let's take a look, we should get a nice straight cut of grass. And there it is, a nice straight cut plane of grass. Now if the grass is looking tall, we can obviously, we can change the scale of it so it feels like it's more of a mowed grass. This feels more like a wild grass. But for our purposes, I think it's going to work in this rendering. And, but now we have, instead of the full object bleeding over the, the sidewalk, we have a nice cut strip where it looks like it was edged, which is nice. So now that we have all of our plants in, that pretty much covers force pack and populating the scene with all of our plants. Now it's just, this will lead into just the small details to really make the rendering pop. And that's something we can look into as far as just accent lighting and adding just a couple of small details to really finish the rendering out.